Now let's talk about solving problems with the tangent ratio. And we're going to use the fact that the calculator can compute the tangent of almost any angle. When you pull this up and type tangent of something, you can type in just about any angle that you want. And the calculator will compute the value of the tangent ratio at that angle. And that becomes a useful fact for solving problems. We'll start off talking about solving right triangles. And here's our first example, finding the opposite side. Notice what we're given here. We're given a 35 degree angle. And this side over here that is opposite the 35 degree angle is unknown. So we've just named it with a variable, A in this case. And we know the adjacent side. That's given as 17. So we know this. We know that the tangent of any angle is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. What you want to do is just take that concept and apply it in this situation. So the tangent of an angle is the opposite over the adjacent. That means the tangent of this angle has to be this length over that. I'll say that again. That is the mental step of setting up the problem, and that is most of the battle here. We know that the tangent function, or the tangent of an angle, is always the length of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So right here, the tangent of this angle has to be this length, the opposite, over the adjacent. So let's write that mathematically. I'm going to write the tangent of this is equal to this over that. So in this particular case, that means this. The tangent of 35 degrees is equal to A over 17. And we can solve this for A. You should be able to do this mentally without writing it, but I'm going to write it. We multiply both sides by 17, and the 17's cancel, and we're left with, with A is equal to this. So I'll write A is equal to 17 times the tangent of 35 degrees. And again, you should be able to go from here to here mentally. So A is 17 times the tangent of 35 degrees. This you can do on the calculator, because the calculator can give you a value for the tangent of 35 degrees. So we pull up the calculator and we say 17 times the tangent of 35, and this will be the answer. 11.9. And you have more decimal places there, but we'll, we'll round it to 11.9. So that's the answer. If this length is 17, and it's a right triangle, and that angle is 35, then this side has to be 11.9. Now here's a similar example, but this time we will find the adjacent side. We're given this angle here, 34.4 degrees, this length is unknown, we're just calling it B, and the side opposite that angle is 9.16. So once again, we know the tangent of an angle is always the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. So we're going to take this concept and apply it to this triangle. The tangent of this angle has to be the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. So just write that down, write the tangent of this is equal to this over this. So in this particular case, we're going to write the tangent of 34.4 degrees is 9.16 over B. The tangent of 34.4 degrees is 9.16 divided by B. And then we just want to rearrange that algebraically to solve for B. And B ends up being 9.16 divided by the tangent of 34.4 degrees. And again, the calculator can figure this out. So we can get our answer just by typing that in to the calculator. So take your calculator and type, uh, type 9.16 divided by the tangent of 34.4. And that's our answer, 13.4, 13.4.